Hello students, our today's topic is phytochromes, structure, function and mechanisms of action. Phytochromes are plant photoreceptors. What are plant photoreceptors? How many types of photoreceptors are there in plants and their uh, general functions? We have already discussed in our previous lecture, introduction to plant photoreceptors, right? Today, we'll start with the phytochromes. And we will discuss structure, function, and mechanisms of action of phytochromes. Phytochromes are photoreceptors that respond to environmental light conditions and control a variety of photomorphogenic responses, right? Phytochromes are dimeric chromoprotein. As you can see here in this diagram, having two subunits, each monomer possessing a covalently linked open tetrapyrrole phytochromobilin as a chromophore as you can see here in this uh, diagram these are two identical subunits and this is covalently attached chromophore group and these uh, two are the domains now in higher plants phytochromes are encoded by small gene families for example five members uh, that is uh, phya to phye uh, has been identified in uh, our model plant Arabidopsis thaliana. Now, phytochromes are further classified into two types light labile type 1 phytochrome A and light stable type 2 phytochrome B to phytochrome E. Now, among all, phytochrome A is responsible for sensing FR light and phytochrome B to phytochrome E play roles in R light mediated photomorphogenic development. Now, next is structure. Phytochrome is a soluble chromoprotein with a molecular mass of 250 kDm, right? Phytochrome occurs as a dimer, as I already told you, made up of two subunits, each with molecular mass of 125 kDm, right? Each subunit further consists of two components. One is light absorbing pigment molecule, that is chromophore and the second is a polypeptide chain apoprotein. Apoprotein and chromophore together make up the holochrome, right? So this is uh, inactive PR form of phytochrome. When this form absorbs red light, it gets converted into active form that is PFR form, right? Now the chromophore. Chromophore is a linear, as you can see here in this diagram, that linear tetrapyrrole phytochromobilin. And this is attached to, uh, this ring is attached to uh, the protein through thioether linkage to cysteine residue. Just look at this diagram. This is protein. And you know proteins are made up of amino acids, right? These all are amino acids. This is cysteine residue. And this um, chromophore uh, ring is attached to cysteine residue of protein uh, with the help of uh, thioether linkage, right? Now, chromophore undergoes cis trans isomeration at carbon 15 uh, in response to red and farad light. Now, synthesis of phytochromobilin. Phytochromobilin is synthesized in plastics. This is plastic, right? So phytochrome uh, apoprotein alone cannot absorb red or farad light, right? Light can be absorbed only when polypeptide is covalently linked with uh, phytochromobilin to form uh, holoproteins, right? Now, one thing more I just uh, want to tell you. This covalent attachment likely provides a more stable holoprotein to reversible uh, photo switching right so after synthesis in plastic this phytochromobilin is uh, it leaks out to cytosol here in the cytosol assembly of apoprotein with chromophore occurs right and this assembly is an autocatalytic process Autocatalytic means it occurs spontaneously uh, without the help of any cofactors, right? 
Now domain structure of phytochromes. The large and steadily growing number of uh, phytochrome sequences now known and this permit classification into subfamilies. And subfamilies and um, delineation of conserved sequences and domains that are either ubiquitous among phytochromes or conserved in different subfamilies. Now phytochrome sub, uh, subfamilies like plant phytochrome, uh, cyanobacterial phytochromes, this BPHP, bacterial phytochromes, right? So all these subfamilies share a common architecture. You can see here in this diagram, these all are domains, right? So all having one N-terminal photosensory reason or photosensory module, as you can see here in all the cases, and one C-terminal regulatory module or regulatory reason, right? This N-terminal photosensory reason having three conserved domains in all the cases, PA, PAS, GAF, and another domain, PHY, right? You can see in all the uh, cases, right? And at C terminal regulatory uh, reason having histidine kinase or histidine kinase related domain that is HKRD. So, this is uh, a general structure of domain. Now, molecular mechanisms of uh, plant phytochrome signaling. When dark grown tissues receive light red light this red light converts phytochrome from r absorbing pr form this is pr form to fr absorbing pfr form and this change is reversible right now photoconversion of pr to pfr form affects a conformational change right you can notice here uh, mm -hmm. conformational change right so this conformational change facilitate phosphotransfer to bound anchoring molecule that is x bound anchoring protein molecule x right so this complex is formed here this complex is formed then phosphotransfer process occurs right and uh, next this uh, complex dissociate upon ATP ADP exchange. After dissociation, PFR uh, migrate to nucleus, right? This PFR migrates to nucleus. In the nucleus, N terminal photosensory domain uh, can interact with regulatory transcription factors, right? And uh, the altered activity of anchoring molecule X. P is uh, envisaged to initiate cytoplasmic output signal, right? So, this is uh, molecular mechanisms of plant phytochrome. Now, what are the functions of phytochrome? Phytochrome system acts as biological light switch, right? It monitors the level, intensity, duration, and color of environmental light, right? Red color converts phytochrome from R absorbing PR form uh, to FR absorbing PFR form, right? PR is inactive form and PFR is uh, active form of phytochrome. PFR form can slowly revert to PR form in the dark or break down over time. Active form of phytochrome can directly activate other molecules in the cytoplasm or it can be trafficked to nucleus where it directly activates or repress specific gene expression. Now, phytochromes have very diverse regulatory functions throughout the entire life cycle of plants like mediating light effects on uh, seed germination, uh, the switch from non photosynthetic growth in dark grown seedling to pho uh, uh, photoautotrophy, then neighbor sensing and uh, timings of uh, flowering, right? So, phytochrome system and growth what is the relation? Plants use phytochrome system to grow away from shade 
toward light right now expose it to red light convert phytochrome to uh, means uh, in the shaded leaves to pr means inactive form and uh, this slows the growth process right when leaves in full sunlight exposed uh, to red light and have activated pfr form this induces growth toward uh, sunlit area right so pr inactive form and pfr active form right this form on absorption of red light get converted into active form pfr form right and uh, this then uh, induce growth toward uh, the uh, sunlit areas now phytochrome uh, system in seeds in seeds phytochrome system is used to determine the presence or absence of light only uh, rather than quality of light right this is especially important in the species where, with very small seeds therefore uh, food reserves for example uh, it, if uh, lettuce seedlings germinated a centimeter under the soil surface seedlings would exhaust its food resources and die before reaching the surface a seed will only germinate if exposed to light at the surface of the soil causing pr to uh, be converted to pfr uh, form and uh, they start the germination right in the dark phytochrome is in inactive pr form uh, so seed will not germinate now photoperiodism photoperiodism uh, is a biological response to timing and duration of light dark and light periods right so plant use phytochrome system to adjust growth according to the season right since unfiltered sunlight is rich in red light but deficient in infrared light at dawn all the phytochrome molecules in the leaf convert to active pfr form and remain in that form until sunset since pfr revert to pr during darkness there will be no pfr remaining at sunrise if night is long and some pfr remaining uh, if the light is short so amount of pfr present stimulates flowering setting of winter buds and vegetative growth according to the season right then phytochrome system also enables plant to compare the length of the dark period over several days shortening night indicates spring time to the plant and lengthening nights indicate autumn to the plants short day uh, plants means long night plants use this information to flower in the late summer and early fall when nights exceed a critical length right critical length means often 8 or fewer hours long day or short night plants flower during spring when darkness is less than a critical length right however day neutral plants do not regulate flowering by day length right so this is about uh, the function of phytochromes in plants